debut director, amazing. And I want to laud you and team Netflix. Uh, every time I give you a direct compliment, you always shrug it off and say it's the team. You know, you, you, know, you, you don't like being self-laudatory, which is why we love you so much. But really the fact that years ago, directorial debut wins an Oscar, what does this mean for young creators? And what The Elephant Whisperers has done in terms of empowering young creators. And that's really what you set out to do at Netflix India, didn't you? Yeah, I think uh, it's just so amazing to see Karthiki being, uh, you know, in her first uh, film as a director and, you know, having producers also who are part of the journey. And for us at Netflix, it really matters to, you know, find uh, the raw talent which is out there, all the creators who are just bubbling with stories to come to Netflix like Karthiki did. And, you know, really, uh, uh, you know, wanting to tell the stories in the most courageous, the most honest way and stories that can actually reach out, have universal appeal. And I think for me uh, personally, the fact that all of us as execs at Netflix uh, are huge fans of storytelling, I think that is what we eat, sleep, breathe. Guneet and Achin know that. We have 100 conversations around that all the time and with all our partners and creators. I think it's just something that runs deep at Netflix, which is respect for stories, storytellers. And I think we would not be the service that we are if it were not for uh, you know, first time storytellers like Karthiki or seasoned storytellers who find that one story that can, you know, just uh, sort of uh, uh, go big and, you know, go all over the world. But I think uh, fundamentally it is about the stories and the people who have the vision, passion, bring it together. We are there to be as strong creative enablers and to make their journey uh, and their vision come to life. You know, and all my friends from the media will, will agree when I say this, that it's, it's wrong to be judgmental when people run after their masses, uh, the larger stories, the low-hanging fruit, because that is a way of life that some producers have chosen for themselves. And it's wrong of us to judge them. But at the other end of the spectrum, you look at somebody like Gurid Mongla, you look at Sikhya, and you see that it's not just about the low-hanging fruit and running after the masses, it's also about the underrated stories. And instinctively, Gunit, I always feel that you go after the underrated stories. Uh, is, that a, is that a conscious choice? You know, I honestly feel very spiritual about my work. Uh, Sikhya means keep learning, keep growing. Seek se Sikhya bana. And I genuinely feel stories choose us. Uh, be it lunchbox, be it um, Paglet, be it uh, period end of sentence, be it uh, elephant whispers. I feel like stories choose us and to show up with integrity and honesty every day is the job that we do and everybody at Sikhya and the beautiful and we are empowered by Netflix, you know, um, and, and we have a deep relationship, you know, and I think um, it's deeply, it's deeply intuitive and instinctive to fall in love with the story and we work in long format. It takes years for a story to come to life and uh, to show up every day with all your honesty is all we can do and awards, rewards may follow, may not follow. Um, this is epic that happened in our journey as filmmakers uh, but really I think uh, at Sikhya as filmmakers we are in service of the story and the filmmaker. Lovely, lovely. That's a spiritual answer. It's wonderful. Achin, you know, I see natural history filmmakers talk about this all the time. The complexities of shooting with nature, the complexities of shooting with wildlife. And you've done both of that. So I'd like you to talk about the challenges involved and, you know, your, your whole perspective uh, with the struggle and then the success after that. Uh, I think more than the struggle, I think the challenge in general was that we were shooting this around COVID. Uh, in a way, there were a lot of challenges. Of course, we were shooting in a remote area. The first time we met Karthiki was, I think, physically we met her after a year of the... I think we had so many Zoom conversations over a, for a year. Uh, the, the fact that we were dealing and we were operating in a time when the world was so negative, I think the story gave us a lot of hope. Uh, the fact the first time we saw the some footage, it was 
we have never seen something like that so i think yes in general the documentary has its own challenges the fact ki the journey for this docu has been for 5 years uh be it you know different schedules of shooting and filming in the uh, in the remote area uh, or to even you know deal with that amount of footage i think but but i think there was a vision that kartik had at the start of the uh, you know when she set out which was a secret bond between the man and the nature and somewhat i think over these many years at different stages with different uh, you know hods different people coming together we fought those challenges in a very joyous manner so it never felt like a you know probably on any other production that we might face or the you know the moment you think of a wildlife or a nature you know the kind of challenges i think it's a, it was quite fun it was quite fun to deal with baby elephants and you know just to be around them so i think challenges were less and the process was more joyous for us lovely keep it fun i i just want to add there that you know when you look at the space of wildlife you really look at men it's been a image of you know those long lenses open jeeps you know there's a very macho ness to wildlife so many years and here's this young woman a natural history photographer with her purest vision and i'm so grateful that she chose uh, sikha to produce and she reached out uh, so i at any stage and at any audience that i get i want to really say that uh, that this has been one of the most beautiful journeys and we got to learn a lot about wildlife with her on this journey because it was also our first wildlife uh, uh, venture and a project lovely ladies and gentlemen now i'd like you to like all of us to welcome the true hero and heroine of the elephant whisperers now